This one's gonna be your main panel here, okay? Everything's labeled. This is gonna be your main disconnect here. You do have your cell panel. Mm -hmm. um, that's gonna be intact at where it has your alt fault breaker. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the fabric, maybe the measure rod. No, the rod. Oh, the yeah, rod. Yeah, the rod. And also you have like your garbage, uh, dish, dishwasher, garbage bowls, all that stuff. You have to kind of reset them here. And we're going to test it out. So it's going to look like that. And mm -hmm. it just come back. And reset it. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then, so you'll have everything labeled for you from laundry, AC unit, your oven, uh, your kitchen. Um, GFCI is in the bathroom, so your master bathroom, mm -hmm. bathroom too. Mm -hmm. And then, last but not least, all the way up top, that's going to be for your solar upstairs. Okay. okay. They are assigning the leasing agreement, so what a buyer should do, uh, because my buyer is leaving to come to Yeah. It's, it's something very easy. I have uh, the forms mm -hmm. and it shows you the steps. You usually don't need the buyer here to uh, for, for, for that step. Mm -hmm. It's just getting the right information. Oh, okay. 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 So what that does is, as of right now, if you try to turn on any exterior lights, it won't turn on because it's on the sensor just to oh, conserve okay. energy. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that'll be that, and that's going to be your patio, your front porch, everywhere. Uh -huh. Okay. Here, this is going to be your communication panel. Mm -hmm. This is where at, uh, Direct TV or Verizon is going to come. You need these, and all the cables are ran into the master bedroom. Okay. Okay. And then just this would just be your meter. Okay. We'll come back here. This is going to be your gas meter. Mm -hmm. um, we do recommend having a ranch, a shut off ranch here, just in case of an emergency to sell my home depot. You just apply it here and pull it up, and that's going to shut off your gas. Okay. okay? This one here, this is going to be a, a, just going to be a regular pipe coming from your valves. Mm -hmm. So remember the ones one and two and three? Yeah. So all those wires come into here, mm -hmm. come under your concrete, into the garage, into your timer. Oh. Okay? Anytime the tank is water heating, needs to relieve some pressure, we'll see a little bit of water coming from there. Okay? Mm -hmm. Right above, that's just going to be the vent for it. Okay? Mm -hmm. uh, the vent for the tank is water heating. Water, water, water. Yes. Okay? Now, what I do, what I'm going to do, uh, there was a little bit chance, chance, uh, chance of rain, so that's why um, we haven't cleaned the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. What I'm gonna do is wait, and if it does rain on Saturday, when we come back on Monday or Tuesday, mm -hmm. there, sh there shouldn't be any more rain. Uh, we're gonna refog it and make it look nice. Oh, okay. okay, the same you know, color. The color okay, color. Okay, yeah, cool. Color yeah, because okay. it would be pointless if I do it and then it rains and then a fresh house, okay, okay. for your yeah, buyers. Okay. But after you've painted, like, how long does it take to become like this color breaking again? Like... No, once, once we fog it, it's actually a fog coat. Um, it, but then, as soon as it dries, it, it, it's going to come back to the color. Okay. Uh, right above that drain that comes out, that's going to be for your laundry room. What that does is, it, for whatever reason, uh, your washer uh, goes bad or something, mm -hmm. instead of the water spilling everywhere, it's going to catch that panic that will come here. Okay? And that's going to be your event just for that question oh, there, okay? Mm -hmm. Up here, mm -hmm. that line, that's going to be your expansion joint or control joint for your stucco, uh -huh. okay? So ultimately the house is new, it still needs to settle, okay? So that's why we have that one year fit and finish warranty. Uh -huh. um, so what that does is, say for example, instead of getting a big crack all the way through, uh -huh. you want oh, okay. the stucco so from the crack. Right there. Right okay. there. Mm -hmm. just just like concrete as well. Mm -hmm. In the backyard, mm -hmm. your trees are on a drip system, okay? okay. They're not on a on a sprinkler like the front, okay? Mm -hmm. And then all the vegetation is going to be on the drip system, and then you'll have your valves over there. Mm -hmm. These are going to be the drains. Um, we we'll always put gravel mm -hmm. uh, or little rocks in them, uh -huh. uh, just to prevent when it does rain, we don't want mud just going in there uh -huh. and filters the water out, okay? It does rain, the water comes here, you want it to collect that way, okay? You go through your screen and your curbside. It does have a pitch. You'll have your gas stuff, okay? Mm -hmm. um, and then here you have your hose for the time, okay? Right here, this is your speed of vent for your kitchen, mm -hmm. okay? Um, and then again, you have your drain net, okay? And mm -hmm. then here, You'll have your AC unit 
Um, this is going to be your condenser. Mm -hmm. Okay. Inside here um, it has your manual and all that stuff. Okay. There's parts and pieces that have a, it comes with a one year warranty from Pulte. And there's parts and pieces in here that have a five year warranty. For the AC, yeah. the AC manufacturer. Correct. Okay. So when you do, go ahead to do, say for example, your year, one year is passed mm -hmm. uh, and, and you want to do a routine checkup on it, you want to get a certified Linux technician to come out mm -hmm. because they're certified to work on this and that won't go with warranty on those parts and pieces. Oh, okay. okay? Mm -hmm. And then here, you'll have your disconnect, okay? So mm -hmm. if you, anyone is working in here, you just pull this out. Now it's automated, then shut off the power. Okay, okay cool. Only about it. Yes. Okay. Well, that'll be for the backyard. Actually, here, these weep holes, these are going to be your weep holes, okay? These mm -hmm. little holes. We always want to keep those clear um, at, with from debris because what that does is actually, um, when it does rain there, you have a pan there, mm -hmm. okay? And that pan collects the water and it comes out through these weep holes. Okay. Okay. So that means when you use this sprinkler. Yeah, but we have to put it active in your timer. Mm -hmm. Okay. So here you have your cell panel. Mm -hmm. Um so like I was saying, there's all these are gonna be artful. Mm -hmm. So those are more inconvenient instead of going outside of the house. Mm -hmm. You have them in here for your catch, for example, kitchen lights, smoke detectors, mask. Master bedroom, mm -hmm. living room, garage door opener, um, GFCIs, which are going to be these here, mm -hmm. and then force air force air unit. That's going to be your timer and all that stuff. Okay. okay? okay. Now here, it's going to be the shut off for your domestic water. Okay? okay. So all the water inside the house. This is where you shut it off. You just pull, and it automatically shuts it off. Okay. Okay. Here. Now, say for example, um, in your garage, your your uh, your plugs reset. Okay, mm -hmm. all the exterior plugs are synchronized with each other. Mm -hmm. um, so if one trips, all of them are going to be uh, without power. So you just come back in here and reset. Them, okay. Um, same as for the garage. Mm -hmm. The garage. So this one's going to be the exterior. This one's going to be the interior. Mm -hmm. The garage. The garage lights um, ever trip, you would just hit here and reset it, okay? And then here, you'll have your timer. Mm -hmm. um, we go by zone, so zone one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, okay? So they're already programmed to mm -hmm. uh, the time they need, they need to be programmed to. Um, so in here, you'll have your manuals mm -hmm. on your race sensor and on the timer as well. And then as you can see, A1 is for trees, front yards, a2 is going to be big plants front yards, mm -hmm. A3 is going to be the ground covers front yards, and A4 is going to be trees, slopes, backyards, big plants, and ground covers. Okay? Mm -hmm. Here you're going to have your tank with water heater. Mm -hmm. um, you'll have a water shut off here, mm -hmm. and then here you'll have an extra drain here as well. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then right above there, you will have your low voltage transformer. The reason it doesn't have a cover is because your address lights and your doorbell always need to be on. And then here you have your garage door opener. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now the garage door opener does come with a battery. Okay? Mm -hmm. So this is going to be your battery battery. Mm -hmm. okay? mm -hmm. Just pull there. Oh. That's going to manually unlock it. You just pull it down. But what you can also do is to lock it, you just pull this, pull it back, or push it up from right here. And then lock it in place. That means you have to wire that right here, right? Yeah, so you're done. You have two options that you guys chose. Um, first here you have your switch, which will be your half hot. Mm -hmm. which will be the plug upside down on the corner. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be the plug all the farthest from the yes, plug. Okay. Yeah. And then also you have the pre-wiring for the ceiling fan, okay. which are going to be these two. One's the dimmer and the other one's the speed on the fan. Okay. So, okay. Mm -hmm. So you have two switches here. Mm -hmm. One's going to be for the exterior mm -hmm. of your porch. The yep. other one's going to be mm -hmm. for your coach And then the other one's going to be for the hallway here. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Um, before we go upstairs, we'll have your thermostat here. Mm -hmm. uh, you'll have two. You'll have one upstairs and one downstairs. They both control the whole house temperature. Okay? Oh, okay. So you have one on the yeah. 
not set up yet. And then here you have a switch to go upstairs, mm -hmm. and then the hallway, okay. and then the hallway here as well. Okay, okay the stairway. Mm -hmm. So we'll go upstairs. Um, yeah, this is all pretty. The colors are pretty as mm -hmm. well. Yeah. Okay. So coming upstairs mm -hmm. on the landing, you'll have two switches. This is going to be for the stairway, mm -hmm. and the other one's going to be for the hallway. Okay. Mm -hmm. To the right of that here. You have the laundry room, mm -hmm. you'll have your hot and cold, mm -hmm. you'll have uh, your pan for your washer, and then you'll have your dryer vent here and your gas stuff here as well, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. Right above, you'll have your vent, you'll have your fan that actually... Where we have the, the thing outside for the vent, right? Yeah, okay. and then right above, you'll have a fire sprinkler, mm -hmm. okay? To the right of us. Before we go to this room, right above you'll have an air filter. Uh -huh. um, we do suggest changing your air filter. Every uh, year? Not every year. Mm -hmm. um, changing it more than three months. Every three months. Every three months? Yeah. yeah. Because it is an constru uh, active construct uh, job site, so oh, okay. there's a lot of dust and everything. So, uh, so how many are there in house? Two or two. one? Two. Two. Two and Yeah. Okay. Actually, one in the master bedroom. Oh, so two both yeah, upstairs. upstairs. Bedroom, mm -hmm. right, right next to you, you're gonna have two switches as well, mm -hmm. which will be the, kind of similar to the den. Mm -hmm. You'll have your pre-wire for, uh, for your ceiling fan, mm -hmm. which is up, up there, and then you'll have your half out, which is this switch here. Okay. okay. So if they want to install like a light, not the ceiling fan, they can also do it here, right? Pre-wire. Pre yeah. So everything's there. You're gonna mm -hmm. have a bracket as well, where you can like mount. Like a chandelier, so maybe yeah. you can install it. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Um, mm -hmm. It does. The, the rate on the weight on it is mm -hmm. going to be 50 pounds. 50 pounds? Yes. Kind of okay. small one. <laughs> yeah, kind of small one and a big chandelier. Yeah. And then, well, the room is not good for a big chandelier yeah. though. So. Yeah. And then right there, you should have your uh, cable. Oh, cable. Okay, yes. cable. Okay. Okay. They're kind of the same options. Uh, your pre wire for your ceiling fan. Mm -hmm. And then your half wall, which would be this switch here. Also, that's gonna be the decorative pieces that we have on our fire sprinkler cap, okay? Uh -huh. And then right above him, he'll have a smoke detector. Mm -hmm. um, every hallway has a carbon monoxide smoke detector, mm -hmm. and every room will have a smoke detector. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, generic of uh, your pre wiring and your half hop. And then also here, you'll have your cable there. Mm -hmm. Also, with these windows, say for example, the windows are really dirty. Mm -hmm. All you have to do is bypass that safety mechanism up there, mm -hmm. this one there, mm -hmm. and you go up and they come out. Oh, so you can just clean that. You can just clean, yeah. Okay. Put back in the trap. Okay. This is for every bedroom or just this one? Yeah, just for every bedroom. Oh, for okay. every bedroom. Now, just, these are dual pane windows, mm -hmm. so as you can feel, uh, they the heat doesn't come through the completely. Oh, yeah. okay. That's why they call energy efficient. Energy efficient as well. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Drywall, mm -hmm. you'll have a one year fit and finish because you're going to get those cracks on the lids or on mm -hmm. the walls. The house is selling. So what does it include, like cracks or discoloration? Discoloration, oh. stuff like that. So that's when our customer service provider, right? It, they only come out once. So we. Mm -hmm best recommend just to send that request at the 11 month mark okay yeah i actually have some documentation for you as well uh -huh. stating what's covered and what's not covered uh -huh. what's going on would you email me those please? i actually have one for you downstairs oh, okay, okay. okay. Uh -huh. um, also for example coffee on the baseboard here mm -hmm. you're coughing between the baseboard and the wall that's something that homeowner needs to maintain Okay. okay, that's a homeowner maintenance item or on the casings on the door stuff like that. That's okay. homeowner maintenance. Mm -hmm. Okay, we are gonna have a final clean the day prior of closing escrow. Okay. So you guys move in, it's gonna be nice and fresh. Okay. Okay. Have adjustable shelves. Uh -huh. Actually, pull out. You yeah, can just so rearrange. rearrange them, yeah. and then you'll have your uh, towel towel ring there. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Now these are GFCI. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah. You would just have to reset them. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, something cool that I want to show you guys here okay. is with your, with your water. Mm -hmm. Instead of twisting mm -hmm. on your angle stop, mm -hmm. you just pull it and it automatically shuts it off. Oh, wow. okay. And you just push back to restart it. Okay. Oh, really? 
right? Right. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be throughout the house. And that's also going to be for the homeowner benefits. The homeowner, instead of turning, turning, mm -hmm. um, you just pull it and it shuts off. Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Right above, as you can see, you have a filter here. This is not 20 by 30. No, this won't this be a 20. Is a 20. 20 by 30. 20. No, 20 by 20. The other ones will be 20 by 30. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So here, mm -hmm. that you'll have your cable right behind you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, <laughs> um, right above, you also have your pre-wiring for your ceiling fan, mm -hmm. and then you'll have your two fire sprinklers. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then to so the left of us here, straight ahead. We'll have our master bathroom. Mm -hmm. So you'll have here, you'll have a suit, uh, light right above the shower. Uh -huh. Then the following one's gonna be your vanity light, and then the last one's gonna be your fan. Okay. Okay. Uh, and now here is a fan control. Here, this one. Yeah, for the fan. Yes. So you have your fan there as well. You tour the room. Uh, same concept on your angle stop, you push okay. and pull. Stop the water. Okay, just to stop the water. Now, also, you have one year warranty on your cabinets. Mm -hmm. So, say for example, your hinges on your cabinets are a little bit loose or your doors are coming loose, you send that to our uh, generic email, which is uh, SoCal Service. Is this still included? You said they only come once, right? No, not on your cabinet. Oh, so this is like separate? Yeah. Separate. Okay. So, say for example, your cabinets are mm -hmm. need to be adjusted, stuff like that, they come out. Just for your, like, stuff, for your like, drywall, uh -huh. it, they only come out once. Okay. okay. They come out once to paint. That's a patch and paint. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Now in here in the shower, you'll have uh, something really interesting. You're gonna have these little holes here on both sides. For just in case the water. Right? Yeah. So just in case water or any condensation gets behind the solid surface, mm -hmm. we want it to come out through those deep holes. Uh -huh. Yes. Okay. Then a lot of walkers. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, also Moen, um, th that's the manufacturer we use, it has a lifetime warranty on the shower heads, cartridges and stuff like that. So if it ever goes bad, you just it has to a lifetime warranty on the bridge and the buyer. Okay, so you just remove that part and send it in. Okay. okay. Here you have the master closet. Here's where you'll have your attic axis. So right above that'll be your attic axis. Um, in there, you have a platform, mm -hmm. which is a four by eight mm -hmm. platform where you actually could walk there, mm -hmm. go into your furnace. That's where your furnace is. Your yeah, your treasure. <laughs> <laughs> now, be your furnace. In your furnace, you'll have your. Um, it's 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 a big um, where all your um, ducking goes, mm -hmm. and that's where it controls your hot and cool. Okay. okay. So right right above, and also you have insulation throughout the attic. Uh, it's not definitely not a place to store stuff. Okay. 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 Cool. Okay. And up there, also you have a staple to your trusses. You will have your manual for your furnace, and also you have a baggage count of how much in, um, blown insulation we use in your attic. Okay. 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 Mm -hmm. And then right behind you, sir, and that you'll have your SST box. So mm -hmm. that's gonna be the second box from the panel. Mm -hmm. That's where everything is pre-wired to. And it comes into here, they move, remove those screws and then everything is labeled for each room for their cable and all that good stuff. So say if you're not here, they will turn off within five minutes, but say you come in, you do have to turn them on manually. Okay. Closet. Or you have the mysteries. <laughs> this is where you would, you know, add any furniture or anything like that. What, what, what do you call this? Where you have the mysteries, right? Are the place to hide the mistress? Uh. <laughs> yeah, small little bed there. <laughs> now here in your living room area, so you will have you have a blind plate. In this blind plate, there's an actual tube itself that comes here. That's for the TV. Correct. So it's a hole. Yeah, so you just move, remove this and there's going to be a hole there. Then you will here you have your internet and your cable, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, very generic as well, so you'll have your uh, pre-wire for your ceiling fan, mm -hmm. um, you'll have your fire sprinklers, and then you'll have your half-hour which will be the switch upside down. You'll have your, your 
light, and you have your switch for your calyx, for the Xero, for your pattern, but there are no photo cell sensors, so as of right now, they won't turn on just at night time. Okay, okay, cool. But then if it will turn on at night time. Correct, yes. And then here you have your cafe. You'll, we'll have a switch here. There's going to be the calyx right above. There are no dimmer. Oh. Okay. okay, cool. And last but not least, you will have your kitchen here. Okay. Now, this is granite. Mm -hmm. uh, we do recommend sealing it, you know, uh, every six months or so. Um, you get a professional guy to seal it, uh, just in case you guys are cooking or whatever, you don't want stuff going through those pores and potentially uh, staining okay. granite. Okay? Now, and then also your cabinets do come with a one year warranty. Mm -hmm. Any unleveling or maybe your hinges are falling uh, or coming a little bit loose, you want to definitely get, send it in to us or for sure. Sure. team. Uh, on some of the warranties, so you do have a five year water intrusion warranty. Mm -hmm. uh, that means any water that's coming in, coming in the walls, um, that's a five year warranty. Uh, any exterior, so like say for example on your uh, yeah, on your fixtures, you have a one year warranty, okay? Okay. Um, interior, five, one year exterior, okay? okay. Mm -hmm. On your concrete, any displacement that becomes a tripping hazard, mm -hmm. um, definitely want to give us a call. We want to definitely get that. Also, on your stucco, you're going to have hairline cracks. That's totally normal. But if it exceeds one eighth width of an inch or width of an ankle, that's something we want to look at. So definitely send that service request into our so called service here. Okay. Um, also, what I did is, ahead, I put our customer service department number here. It has all our information from our email to our number. Mm -hmm. And um, just in case of an emergency, it's going to be there for you, okay? Sure. So if you have tenants living there or the homeowners, you're going to sell them look down here. Mm -hmm. It's, it's going to be their service. So you have your garbage disposal right there. You have your hot and cold. Also, you have your dishwasher um, and then also you'll have your drain I'm sorry your drain for your dishwasher your clean out as well so that's the, um, is that seen as a filter yes that would be your studer vet filter oh, okay. okay so what we do there um, we apply that filter instead of venting through the roof mm -hmm. we apply that filter that's uh, one it gives us less water penetration because that's one less hole on our roof and also it just works great as well mm -hmm. okay Okay. okay, we already ran all your appliances. Mm -hmm. Okay, and also comes with a one year warranty. There's a paperwork that you just have to fill out that extends it to a two year warranty as well. Okay, mm -hmm. and you have all your cabinets in here. You'll have your thermostats. Okay, so they're Wi Fi compatible. You'll have your manual in here as well, okay. how to set them up and everything. Okay, okay. okay. You just have to fill in the paperwork uh -huh. and you have to fill it in before that one year ends oh. and send it in. I have that paperwork there for you mm -hmm. and I'll just walk with you through the steps, okay? Okay. In here, you have your gas. For showing it, we unplug and shut off the gas so make sure no one turned it on. Okay. Okay. And then, have your hood of it. So you have two different speeds, you have high and medium. Also, say for example, these filters get really dirty, you could just remove them and throw them in the, bowl, in the dishwasher as well. Oh, okay. 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 The way you, you set them back, you just pull this back, and they go back in. Okay. 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 And then uh, I was going to show you guys on the fan my favorite test that I do. It's my buyers. <laughs> Okay. Now, um, electrical wise, you have a one year warranty. Mm -hmm. um, also, if say for example, um, the way you void the warranty on that is if, if you add an extra outlet or you add certain stuff, that voids the warranty as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if we ever send like a, our electrician guy to add something, then that void that, the that will void the warranty. You just wait after the one year. And then you get your cover. Another pouncher, um, in there you'll have some extra towel and some grout, okay? Oh, okay. Just, in case just in case you need to grout it, okay? okay. So I will have her sign here and date here. Once we verify those stuff are done, we're going to sign off on the house, 
okay? This one here, uh, this one here is a build quality, celebration, expectations, and messaging. So what this is, is stating that we went through the interior of the home mm -hmm. and exterior of the home, show you where your cleanups are gonna be, mm -hmm. show you uh, all, all, the stuff, all the stuff mm -hmm. um, of the house, um, interior and exterior, okay? Mm -hmm. So I will have her sign here mm -hmm. and date. And also all these papers have a copy. So um, once we sign off, um, bring they them back to me, the they will have the copies, okay? Mm -hmm. This one here is, receive uh, the man manufacturer's warranties. Mm -hmm. So for example, appliances, you have the cooktop, oven, microwave, hood of it. So mm -hmm. I have all this stuff here for you. Mm -hmm. I put in a package mm -hmm. for you guys. So instead of having a lot of papers, it's already nice and tight. Mm -hmm. So we have that there. Also, they're gonna be getting a flash drive, uh -huh. okay? With, so with uh -huh. all the warranties, which is the appliances, well, like, cabinets. Yeah, just in case they lose the... Yes. So be that, and then I'll have them sign here. Also, they're gonna be getting a home guide. Mm -hmm. uh, just like a new car, and you maintain the house. Mm -hmm. So it has the items that need to be maintained, mm -hmm. the purpose, how often, and the level of difficulty. Wow. Maybe some stuff that you could, uh, they could do themselves, mm -hmm. or they need to hire a contractor, okay. or someone professional for that job, okay?